Hello everyone, my name is Tanvi and currently I am a pre-final year undergraduate at IGDTUW. My branch is Information Technology and I am an upcoming SW Internet paper this summer. And thank you for inviting me. Congratulations Tanvi. Thank you. Let's start this, okay? Um, first, eligibility part, um, like what was the eligibility for applying on, in paper? So in PayPal, it was like the people with active backlogs were not allowed and there was no CGP criteria in that and all branches were also allowed. Okay, then uh, next moving to which resources you used when you started DSA in your second year, first year, just discuss all those. So like I starting my coding in the second sem and at that time I was not known about various resources so i started with love bubber youtube channel so in that i used to watch videos and along with that i used to code the question that he used to teach in that then i took a course of coding ninja and with that my basics got got cleared and then when the summer break came i started that 450 sheet of love bubber and also he has made a proper playlist of OS, DBMS, and OOPS. For, for that, for the core subjects, I prepared from that channel and I made the notes. And also, I used to give daily contest and that daily problem I used to solve. Yes. Okay, Tanvi. Next, moving to resume part. Um, how you made it from which website or um, like there are some website which uh, um, tell our ATS score. So what are your tips for the juniors? So I made the resume on Overleaf platform. So it is very user friendly and ATS, ATS friendly also. So in that there are various sections like education, experience, um, projects, and that are social profiles like LinkedIn, GitHub and all. So I, I would recommend that we should we should at least have two or three projects in our resume and we must know each and everything about that and our resume everything we put in our resume should be real like if interview 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 can ask anything about it so if we are not able to answer it then it will put a bad image of our on the interviewer and he will get to know that we have copied this from somewhere so we should know everything about our resume okay then we uh, also um, like we participate in hackathons we get various scholarships so do you think like uh, in your selection um, did the hackathons or scholarship wala part played a role like yes. did the interviewer ask any questions about it Yes, I participated in the hackathon in my in my previous college year. So I made a very I made a very good project in that. So I put that project in my resume. And interviewer also asked about that, and I told him everything. And if you take part in hackathon, then you experience you have a very good experience. So with that, you could explain many things about the project to the interviewer also and it will have a good ex go to image on the interviewer so yeah it definitely helps okay then we uh, next moving to your interview experience how was it how many rounds were there uh, was there any uh, like uh, how many technical and hr rounds were there okay so there was one oa and after that there were two rounds first was technical round and second was technical plus hr round so in technical round, the interview asked me a one medium level questions and some question related to core subjects. So I first solved the first solved the question using the brute force approach, and he was like satisfied with it. And also along that, along explaining your approach, you should you should write your code side by side, and what you are writing, you should name the variables according to the questions so that it will have a good impression on the interviewer 
and also then in the second round it was the managerial round so there so the manager was the interviewer so in that he, he there was no coding question in that it was totally based on projects H, hr questions and that to and that core subjects related questions so for the core subjects i previous, previously tell that i prepared from love bubber and it was and all the questions was from their own from his notes so and also he asked me about the project which was which i wrote in my resume and uh, and yes he asked them two three hr questions like why do you want to join and tell me about yourself something so yeah this was uh, what was the pattern in the way like uh, in various ways we see that aptitude questions are there some questions based on react chess all that so what was your pattern of the way so in paypal there was like i remember there were two coding coding questions and there was some mcq on javascript so the coding question was simple and for javascript like i would recommend that jitna tum sahi sahi mark karoge mcq mein utne tumhare chances jo honge interview ka call aane ke zyada hote hain so yes okay tanvi um, aapne koi mock interview diya tha yes i gave various mock interviews on the pram platform like kuch free wo pram pe free inter wo dete hain mock interviews to usme diya tha aur wo bahut help karte kyunki usme jo zyada tar jo pairs bante hain wo bahut experienced logo ke sath bante hain and with that we gain very many much experience so it is very good platform and also you can prepare various interview question from gfg and interview bit Yes. Okay, then we. Uh, last, I would like to discuss what are the do's and don'ts from your side. You would suggest to the juniors. So do's and don'ts will be like you should you should be confident in your that interview time, and the code you write must be clear and crisp. The variables you took should be proper according to the question, so that interview could get get up easily. and you should comment your code side by side and also while writing you must explain also so so that interview could understand and and be real like you should not be over confident like just telling fake things and just over boosting yourself so you should not do that okay then we uh, any tip from your side so yes i will just say that you must utilize the summer break which is given before the internship drive very nicely just to make the notes properly and when and whenever that and whenever the your name comes for the interview you must keep, you must have the notes handy on yourself and just revise it and then go for it 